a sad day for the force, a sad day for Jamaica. Black Friday, two policemen shot dead, two others injured in a dreadful early morning attack in Horizon Park, St. Catherine. One cop killer was later cut down in a police operation. The Prime Minister is deeply pained. My thoughts and prayers are with your families at this time. Opposition Spokesman and National Security, Ms. Nathalie Lita, MP, St. Catherine, North Central, Major General Anthony Anderson, Commissioner of Police, other members of High Command, other senior officers, Mr. Wayne Cameron, Chairman of the Police Officers Association, other executive members, of the Officers Association, Detective Constable Tamika Thomas, General Secretary of the Jamaica Police Federation, and my full executive who are in attendance today. Rank and file membership, other sworn and unsworn members of the JCF, Mistress Hamilton, Mr. Hamilton, Mr. Hilton, parents of our brother, Superintendent Hilton, uncle, other members of the bereaved family, well-wishers, members of the media, valued partners, attendees online, good morning. As I stand here on my most difficult task as chairman, I, on behalf of my full executive and our island-wide membership, express our deepest and most sincere sympathies to the family friends, batchmates, and colleagues of our fallen brother. The story of many police officers is one of poverty to opportunity. This story runs common through many of us in that we are from deep rural Jamaica who left for dual purpose to serve our country and to have a better life for us and our family. I share that story. From deep rural Manchester, grew up in a one bedroom food for the poor house, with outside pit latrine, outside kitchen, showered behind all zinc under the elements, to serve a country I love while transitioning history. Hilton's story was different. His, a story characterized by the purest form of love for country never influenced by anything else but his love for Jamaica and his desire to contribute to change through policing. He left the comfort of his family home to endure the unease of policing. Unease because he joined the police force which pays an annual salary of $840,000 per year or a meager $70,000 per month. And he is because he joined to serve and reassure the people of Jamaica who showed disrespect and disregard for the service of police officers. And he is because he served an ungrateful country that cannot appreciate that it is out of love and sheer commitment why anyone could leave the safety of their homes, sleep deprived, and work long hours to make someone else safe. And he is because he worked in poor conditions, he worked in any weather, in present and clear danger, which eventually led to his death. And he is because there are groups within this country that profess to be human rights group, who are not Jamaicans interested in justice, but Jamaicans against the police who are only interested in status and international funding who have never spoken out against any injustice against the police but provide a platform for criminals to, pro to profess their mandacious accounts. Unease because if he was charged while exercising an honest function with alleged miscalculated judgment, he would have faced with legal fees upward of $3 million, suspended from work and pay, 
at the risk of losing his house, family, and placed in a position of destitution with no support from government. And he is because people, even parliamentarians, refer to us as killers because it is popular to do and try to appease supposedly independent commission who is more interested in proving the public perception true rather than showing the evidence that is not. And it is because he served in this country and serve people who hide behind social media and celebrate the killing and injury of police officers. And it's because if he does, if he, and it's because he did not have 100% health insurance and had to pay out of pocket, even for illnesses that are associated with the job. And it's because having joined at 18, he would have had to serve 42 years before he retires with a good pension. And even then, he would have to wait months to be paid his pension. And it is because even in debt, the government does not set the tone for celebration of life by leaning the morning from parliament and declaring a national day of mourning for the Jamaican people to celebrate the life of people who died for this country. And it is because there is nothing tangible to show that pays homage to those who pass for a national cause, for those who died to make Jamaica safer, were killed for being noble and for being their best. And it is because he was the only child for his mother, and if he died, which he did, she would be left broken knowing very well he died because he chose to serve Jamaica and Jamaica had very little to give in return. And it is because even though it doesn't make any sense, he did it anyway. And it is because his love for service and country dominated everything else. The need to live longer, the need to have a family, children, and safe place to live from risk for those who are, of you who are uncomfortable because my tribute is pregnant with issues we face it is because it is because you do not understand that a reflection of life is for those who only live this is a reflection of service for a hero who served The good die young, and Hilton has proven that to be true. A man who gave his life and before gave his possession in the form of operational gadgets and latest and coolest crime fighting resources to his colleagues, always looking to purchase something new on Amazon to be, to ab to be able to uh, give his colleagues gadgets so that he will enhance his operational objectives. He loved operation and was proficient at shooting and SWAT. He represented Jamaica in November 2019 in Florida at an international SWAT competition. The Carter Hilton was the kind of man we needed in the police force. He demonstrated excellent work, work and conduct. He was disciplined, hard working and loved his job. He will not be here to see the JCF we are creating. He will not be here to see us address the unease that we have endured for so long. He will not be here to see Jamaica become the place of choice to live, raise family and do business. He will not be here to truly see us become a force for good, though he contributed to it. The people of Jamaica are indebted to Mr. and Mrs. Hamilton and Mr. Hilton for the loss of their child in fighting against crime. The fight to make Jamaica a safer place. Nothing we can say will bring him back. No amount of money can ease the pain. 
but the government must demonstrate to, Miss, to the Hilton's family that their son death was worth it. We owe it to the family. We owe it to his memories. We owe it to his service, to preserve his memories, to celebrate his contribution, to never forget him. Minister, all it takes is a political will to do the things that is right, to treat police officers like humans and honor their service. Thank you, Mrs. Hilton, Mrs. Hamilton, Mr. Hamilton, and Mr. Hilton, for allowing the Carter to stand with us, to serve, protect, and reassure the people of Jamaica despite the unease. We will continue to fight for him. We will stand with you always. We will ensure that the entire Jamaica and the world knows the quality man he was. He died, but his memories will live on. Jamaica has lost because of his passing. At this time, the General Secretary Thomas will hand a condolences book to his parents. Thank you.